Australian goals, we are very green, green conscious. In fact, we have um, even diverse initiatives at school level. So we start very early, very young with our children. In fact, we have the Eco Goals strategy and the Eco School Committees. So we do fund projects by the children themselves, which are then disseminated on a larger level. And with regards to um, plastic usage, we have this Consume Less project, which is um, spreading out throughout Gozo. So it's not only household now, it's also businesses. And throughout this Eco Gozo strategy, we are promoting the greenness of Gozo, the rurality of Gozo, but also the sustainability. And one of the main concerns that we have and one of the main challenges is the, the waste management. Uh, we are continuously coming up with new initiatives so that we handle um, this, this, this massive challenge because obviously we are getting the numbers, but the numbers produce waste. And when you have your organic population, you can manage it quite well. But then when you have this increase on, in, in population, when we have this tourism influx, we have to go for different measures. And that is why we are investing heavily also in this regard. We are very, very concerned uh, about our valleys, for example, that over the years, a lot of debris and a lot of plastics have accumulated. And this is endangering not only our natural environment, not only for you to see, but also the biodiversity and also the ecosystem. So uh, the tapping of these EU funds are intended to regenerate, but also to have a waste management, a water management, and also to reinvigorate um, those parts of Gozo, which unfortunately have been spoiled because of the lack of responsibility when it came to, to, to waste management. It's a challenge for, for all of us, but let me tell you, for the third consecutive year, we have received the award for one of the best 100 sustainable destinations in the world. So um, we are managing to, yes, attract the numbers, but at the same time, we are juggling quite well so that we um, distribute them evenly. And the thing is that we have, uh, we, we can, attract different audiences at different times so that we can manage them better. In fact, we have embarked into um, a calendar of events, seasonal, which is on a monthly basis, on a regular basis, but we target different audiences. So let's say in the month of May, we have this go to life. With this event, we are targ targeting the, un the younger audience, but then we have events in March and April, and there we are targeting the less younger audience. So in that manner, we can distribute age-wise and also by interest. We are in the very, very epicenter of, of the Mediterranean region, so we got the best of everything. <laughs> and it's concentrated in just one place. So you have the oldest freestanding, for example, uh, Neolithic temples in the world. It's not just at the Mediterranean level, but in the world. And we have um, these cultural places all over Gozo, um, following Rome, we are the second richest cultural heritage per square meter, it's no joke. So if you come here, you can immerse yourself in a, a different experience, which you can, cannot find in any other place. So in one step, you have this Baroque building. Um, a few kilometers away, you have these Neolithic temples, and then you can take, you, you can walk or you can take a bike or you, you enjoy the natural environment and that's all, you know, you can do it uh, with less stress because everywhere is so accessible and the natural habitat that we have is quite unique. In fact, one of the strengths that we are promoting for the regional development strategy for Gozo till 2030 is our uh, serene environment. Gozo is special indeed, it's not because I'm Gazetan, but, but it's is the experience that our visitors get even as soon as they land the ferry. So it's, it's particular and it's a place that has huge potential, but obviously we have to be responsible enough to look after it, nurture it, but then obviously we have to unleash this potential in a responsible, in a sustainable way.